everyone, I'm Carol Cumber. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I put out a call and a message on Facebook and various places today to ask if anybody was interested in a personal uh, message at this time. We're in the COVID-19 virus time and it's causing lots of fear, lots of concerns um, and there's there's a there's a ramped up anxiety basically all over the place and part of my uh, job as I see it is what we call a way seer and we get called upon to be able to link in to other people's higher selves to their soul voice if you like to find out what the message is from your higher self for you at this moment in time and I've had a very positive result and response from that and far too many people for me to get through tonight so I want to give you a promise that I'm going to actually do a link in and a read for everybody so if you've responded and asked to be included the answer is yes I am going to do that it won't all be tonight we're going to do a series every single day until everybody has had a connection the reason I'm doing this, I just feel at this time that we need hope, we need a reminder of what's real and we need um, quite a lot of information really from the higher realms and that's my bag so that's what I'm going to provide, okay everyone. Um, like uh, most people my setup for my YouTube tonight is actually um, in my old front room of my parents house I've been up uh, just being with my mum who's been a bit poorly recently and um, she's just come through two COVID-19 um, tests as clear uh, which we're very very pleased for and she's home with us now which is absolutely fantastic here um, so good news so far and mum's 80 by the way and she's got quite a lot of uh, high respiratory needs so you know again that story in itself is just fantastic and I want you to bear that in mind you know we get a lot of news uh, that appertains to what we've been used to which is quite negative and whilst we need to be prepared and whilst we need to be open to all of these heart expansive challenges that are arriving on our doorstep all of the time for everybody we also need to bear in mind what the higher messages are or the particular practical messages are okay so the way this works and the way i've worked this all of my life it doesn't matter if my if my labels are uh, you know, you mean different things with these labels. It's just if you could take that with grace. Um, it's just my way of explaining things. So uh, I believe everybody has a soul and part of that soul is called the higher self. Now the higher self is, is if you like, it's our, it's the part of us that is true spirit. It's, it's got a record of all your wisdom. It has, um, it knows everything about you. It's got a really, um, it just knows everything. And it's the most helpful voice, if you like, on the planet. Your insides, your um, own wisdom sits within you, within your heart and your higher self. Um, so basically, I'm going to read out somebody's name. I'm going to connect in with them live as we're recording now and then i'm just going to pass that message through i'm just the messenger tonight guys um so the whole um really the intention about tonight and however many days it takes me to answer everybody's request um is because the higher self is a way it's it sort of produces like a road map a roadmap to hope, to love, to joy. And I find mantras and positive affirmations a fabulous way to program our minds, to remind ourselves of the bigger reality. And so I'll be, we'll be, I shall, you know, find this information for you, from you, and we'll talk about that. But we will look at how we put those positive affirmations together 
So what I'd love you to do if you're watching this is get a pen and paper or, or use your phone to make some notes, whichever is best for you. Because my intention for asking for if there's anybody out there who's interested in this was for sharing. Now, over the years of doing many, many different workshops for intuitive development and self-empowerment, I found that uh, when I tune into one person, there'll be another 10 or so in the room, if not more, that actually that appertains to. So it's, it's sort of like you might be going through this and thinking, well, that's not for me, but I really want that one. <laughs> So I'd love you to have it. You know, this isn't a goal of, of coming out with one affirmation. It's to sit through this journey with me, this video with me, and actually connect in with your heart and see what your belly feels like when we talk about these things. And as it progresses, if it resonates, you have it too. This is freely given, freely taken. Just have whatever feels right for you. I do apologize for the light and perhaps the sound quality on this one. Uh, we're just running with what we're able to do today. Okay. Um, as far as um, being reminded, I, I'm, I'm not going to do personal reminders uh, as to, you know, who's on what call and things. Um, so if you just subscribe, hit the notification bell. Every time I can put one up over this next week, I'll try and do it over the next three days, but life is life and we'll have to see how we go. Um, so uh, I will get it done this, this week though. And so um, if, you, if you select to do that, you can always unsubscribe at any time, but it just means that as I load them up, you'll be notified and you can see if, if you're one of the ones that we've pulled out the hat for this particular one or if it's another one. But I just think if we just have, have just continue to do this until everybody is connected and read for, then I don't know any other fair way of doing it. So, so we'll see. We'll see how many and what. It's not about how many per day or per night or whatever we do because some people's messages are longer than others. Um, it makes them no better or no worse. It's just I have a collective and um, unity consciousness in mind and so we have to go with the flow. So thank you very much for being here and watching this and we'll go with our first one. Just before we begin that though, honestly goodness me. So I sat here whilst we were messing about with me phone to see if we could get some sort of connection going here. And um, I pulled a card from the Diana Cooper set, um, Oracle cards for Archangel Animals. And I said, can we have a card for our group um, over these series? Uh, that we're doing tonight and beyond and you never guess what came up well you will actually this is how spot on we are at the moment which is bat and with the virus and everything else and the beginnings of these things i was quite interested to see what the meaning of the bat was and it says see through illusion into truth <laughs> and i really really would love you all to write that down and say it out loud as well. Remember your mind and your heart is programmed to hear your own voice above all others and your mum's second. So see through illusion into truth. And I thought, well, this is a little bit too synchronistic to just put away. So um, I'm going to read you the full meaning. So it says about bats. Um, this is out of Diana's book. So. Bats originate from another universe and step down through Sirius, where they hone their knowledge about sonics and echolocation to fit in with the atmospherics and energy of Earth. Archangel Michael helps them develop their throat chakras to use these skills to navigate and demonstrate how to do things differently. Through their advanced throat centres, they link us into the planet Mercury and its ascended aspects telephony, the broadcasting station of our universe. These highly evolved beings hold much cosmic wisdom as well as divine feminine secrets and their sole mission is to disseminate it on earth. Hmm. They remind us that it is possible for mammals to fly. 
it's possible for us to fly high. Oh, that was my bit, not Diana's. They are also learning and teaching about sharing responsibility within a community and birthing and caring for babies. Now write that. Can you write that one down? They're also learning and teaching about sharing responsibility within a community. I think that's where we're at, guys. This is helping to develop their heart centers in their quest to become fully fifth dimensional, which is unity consciousness. Bats are highly sensitive to their surroundings. They work very closely with an archangel called Dorenka. So I found that quite fascinating. Okay, so first lady is Liza, Liza C. So wherever possible, um, I'm just going to give your first name and your initial so that you have some privacy as much as possible. Okay, Liza, so let's see what your higher self is saying. Whoa, okay, busy, busy, busy. Okay, so the first thing is um, you're mega busy inside your head and around your aura. It's a busy, 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 busy. I feel like a bumblebee. <laughs> okay, so uh, calm down. Okay, so the first thing is, and it's coming through loud and clear. Take some more deep breaths. <sighs> Share it out there with nature. I know you, Liza, as a as a, a fellow colleague, therapist, and as a wonderful woman and mother and friend. So get outside some more, not for jobs, but for you, just to breathe. Okay. So uh, your higher self is saying it wants you to calm down. So just go in the calm zone. It's like um, the energy around you that people are bringing to you is very frenzied. So um, your role, if you like, right now is to keep as calm as possible. Supply the calm waters whilst all this frenzied activity and frenzied thoughts and requests are coming to you and coming to your door. Um, so the first one is calm and it's very loud. So that means it's very, very, very important. <laughs> okay, let me just check. Okay, so there's quite a lot of cosmic information trying to get through to you, Eliza. So I'd like you to get your pen and pen or uh, whatever it is that you want to draw with, it is physically drawing. There's quite a lot of sacred geometry coming through for you. So the first one that's shown is like a number four. So if you draw a number four, so not that four, but straight line, straight line, straight line. If you start off with that in the middle of the page and then just do it like automatic writing. So close your eyes, of course, after you've got yourself into an energetic, positive place, uh, a meditative type place. So you want to put that in the middle of your page and then allow yourself to flow through with the channeling from the cosmos uh, about sacred geometry. Don't worry if you open your, do with your eyes closed to begin with. Don't worry if you open your eyes and you think, what on earth is that? It, you just need a little bit of practice. They'd like you to do this for eight days, eight days. Um, I'm feeling like there's a few other people. There's Anavati, there's um, Stacy, there's somebody called Joe, um, Miriam that's coming on later. Um, so there's a few other people definitely who could use this particular process, please. Um, to enhance your connection with the divine. One of the things that's happening at the moment as we're going through this time of major, major transformation change is there's an enormous amount of light that's coming through. It's huge, it's unprecedented in my lifetime at this time. And so um, the difficulties that are, the difficulties come up when we start to resist that light. So uh, we haven't got any, um, Mother Earth hasn't got any more 
chances if you like now i don't know if we use that word well yeah okay it comes through as the right word uh, to mess about to learn to fiddle about with all this it's actually step up time it's actually step up into your light so i do believe that the biggest fear most people have is actually stepping into their light stepping into their soul purpose and getting on with it and now is the time for us all to do that in whichever way we possibly can love is the forerunner so the vibration of love is here to actually transform all of this fear, lies, illusions, rubbish. So it's like getting the, um, those vibrations are transforming, transmuting, and they're breaking up. Some of the systems are breaking up. Some of the other systems are being strengthened by our love. I mean, here in Europe and uh, certainly in the UK, we were all standing outside last night clapping for our National Health Service and all the carers that are coming in to help vulnerable people. Um, it was a very, very emotional time. I could feel the global need. I could feel uh, European togetherness, unity consciousness birthing in those moments of gratefulness and thankfulness for people who are scared themselves actually going in to help others. So this is our time. You know, everybody on this call, you are amazing. You are a light warrior. You're here to make a difference and you've got this. We've got this together. <laughs> we have this. We can do this. But it's loving ourselves, it's being kind to ourselves and thankfully for Liza, she's brought in, first of all, calm straight away. When anybody's bringing these things in with these connections that I'm doing, it's for us all. Remember, everyone just take a chill pill. Let's actually just calm down to begin with. If you're responding from a high state of nervousness, if your heightened awareness is, is jangly, then your vibration goes out there and more jangly stuff comes in. So if you want peace, you become peaceful. If you want calmness, you become calm. You're the one that can do this. You're the master of your own mind. So you're the one who can actually make those changes and the changes in the environment will then find you. Um, so I've, uh, I've been witness to what's going on in the NHS for the past 12 days <laughs> and it's under pressure but they are phenomenally doing a wonderful job so don't give up hope and anybody that's listening that into this that is a carer or part of our health service or part of the volunteers or any health worker out there that's interested in uh, looking after everybody we commend you we love you we thank you it's worth it. You're being the change that we need in this world. The change is here. Okay, so going back to Liza. Liza, Liza, Liza. Okay, so calmness and um, the frenziedness that's coming towards you, you don't need to get overwhelmed with that. You just need to actually raise yourself above it. So your job at the moment is to, is to take a light pill, take as much of the light of feeding from the well of spirit as you possibly can, not just in the mornings, but especially in the mornings and um, whatever time you have to get up, make it a bit earlier to feed your soul first. And then several times during the day, Liza, this is different. This is accommodating your needs. Oh, and loads of other people on this call. Um, every um, several times during the day, actually go to your needs meet those needs, whether that's sitting down and just breathing deeply, whether that's earthing yourself, whether that's um, reading a good, a good uplifting novel, watching something very positive, any of those things, any of those things, it's actually restoring yourself. There you go. Thank you. Your higher self saying that's it for you tonight. It's restoring you. It's absolutely restoring you bit by bit during the day. So please keep checking in, everybody, please keep checking into your heart every single day, now and again, just think, oh, okay, what do I need? What, what's, what, what do I need to do for my own sustenance here? 
what do I need to do? Maybe I need to turn everything off and lie down for 10 minutes. Maybe I need to go for that walk, whatever it happens to be. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Liza. Okay. Um, so next lady is Charlotte, 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 um, Charlotte S. Okay. So let's see what you're bringing to our, our beautiful soul family, Charlotte. Let's see what you need today. Okay, um, Charlotte, you're amazing. Okay, you have an increased, your power has just recently turned up. You were made for these times. Okay, so, so your higher self is reminding you of how amazing you are and how big, loud and powerful you are at the moment. So you're coming across with an abundance of loving energy uh, and you're up and ready and wanting to be on the front line. OK, this is really important for you to accommodate, acknowledge and work with uh, because it's your time. It's your time. So your higher self wants you to know that there's um, don't hesitate. Just do whatever it is that's in your heart. It, I feel like there's a passion inside of you that's like trying to come out and wah, like like wah, get out there. I mean, there's a passionate part of you that's like, oh, you want to you want to sort things and change things and and assist people to such a great degree. You're cracking open with it. So do something every day. So your higher self is saying do some take some action. Small steps are great. You know, you don't have to do it all in massive leaps, but just some action each and every day, just a little bit each and every day um, to assist this massive like a volcano you are it's like all of this power that's going rah, that's coming up so just do it something each and every day to allow that actual power and passion and 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 greatness to actually flourish and come out and use it in a real big positive way <laughs> so it's a very doing time for you actually in a way of constructive creativity it's about being creative constructively and you do you are what i'm seeing is like world war one right and you're on the front line you're up at the trenches as a female in a nurse's uniform so you've done frontline stuff before you've had a past life where you've been there done all of this you've definitely been a nurse and you've definitely been on the front line so it's like nothing new to you you're up for it and there's part of you that recognizes this there's an aspect of your soul that goes i know what to do here let me through <laughs> Get to it because you'll feel so much better for actually applying yourself in that way. Okay, that's a love. Okay, that's Charlotte. I've written everybody down in the, in the order that I that they that the names came to me today. Okay, so this is for you. This is Jill, Jill E, Jill Evans. This is you, Sita. Your higher self says. Obviously, continue to bring the music to the fore, but something else underneath that. So your higher self is calling you to meditate on the words, a myriad of harmony. Now, remember, um, my background is is facilitating healing and empowerment and intuitive development so uh, a lot of things that come through tonight and tomorrow and the next day and however long it uh, might well be for your healing it might well be for your intuitive development um it might well be anything to do with the the uh, facilitator i am so it's up to you to take it how through the filters of your own meaning uh, but those are the words jill that they want you to just sit with and meditate with and allow the beauty of that symphony to come through you okay so that was the first bit and then so 
Oh, right. Okay. So your your higher self is saying it, you've got like four things you want to um, receive as messenger from me tonight. Had the first one. That's for your own personal meditation and allow the cosmic knowledge to come through that. Number two is your higher self is saying you need to skip through your house. <laughs> you need to actually skip through your house. Not with a skipping rope, but just skip around. Just skip and skip and skip and skip. It's like to move the energy through, to access more um, earth spirit energy, to loosen things up, to allow things to leave. Okay, so number two is skipping. The third one. Third one is to read out loud some positive sentences, some positive language. I mean, you know, it's it's potentially just note all of these different affirmations, these different messages through and just read those out loud. It's as if you need to say some things out loud for yourself to be fulfilled with that particular tone and harmony. But they need to be very positive, loving, gorgeous stuff. OK, that's number three. And your fourth one. Enjoy your scarves. <laughs> So what I saw you doing there was taking the scarf and just um, almost dancing with it, like dancing with the veils. So your higher self is saying, enjoy your scarf. So those are the four things for you, Joe. I wish you well, darling. Okay. So um, this one is for Joe Anne B. So we're connecting with you, Joe. See how we go. Okay, Joe. so you really, really, really need to breathe in some of the essence of trees. So the tree kingdom is calling to you very, 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 very strongly. It's like a balm. It's going to um, enthrall you is the word that your higher self is using. So it's like if you can manage to get out on one of these walks, um, to be with some trees, to put your back against some trees, to look up to the canopy, to actually just uh, stand away from trees even and have a look at what their sway is and what their movement is. There's some sort of balm for you here. There's some sort of soothing. Um, there's a great deal of communion that's attempting to get through to you through the kingdom of trees. So you're message very strongly but very quietly very compassionately very lovingly is to um you've got like a quiet strength what i call a quiet strength your your inner core is palpating with a a moving strength it's sort of like um it, it's like water so so it's it's like a, a flow of energy it's a flow of strength that always moves and grows and changes with you um, throughout your life but there's a particular uh, center part of you that is it's fluid but very 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 strong and um, the trees want to give you some nurturing so your soul would really like to go and drink in the trees would really love to be with the trees and drink in their value and their and their harmony. So, so if you could go and be near some trees and actually just start noticing what the amazing things are that trees are giving you. See if you can notice with inside yourself, in your tummy, your heart and your belly, about what are the positive things that you're starting to um, feel when you're standing near to and touching and being within. Uh, the kingdom of trees. Okay, so trees is your first thing. I'm just going to go back and check in again. Please do this sooner rather than later and on a regular basis. It's as if you're, it's as if a different aspect of you is awakening to the power of nature. There's a real strong connection with the Earth Mother going on there and it's just opening you up 
to different realities, to different uh, input. So trees are the ones that kind of like, they kind of like make sense of things. It's as if you go there with questions and then you come away, you have a sleep and you wake up with some of the answers. And it's the tree kingdom that's, um, oh, they're asking you to try drawing some trees. Actually sit down and give yourself five minutes or 10 minutes, 15. I know it's a big ask, but it's actually just to stop, 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 calm down, slow the pace right down. So the trees are actually talking now. They're, they're starting to slow my language down. And they're saying, you know, every tree, <laughs> has uh, a beat, has a momentum, and it's quite strong, but it takes its time. And it still has time enough to grow new branches, to flourish, to turn its face to the sun and away, and move with the wind and be all elements. So they're trying to say you can have it all but just choose to go at a slower pace so that you bring grace to your world and so that you can actually uh, savour, they're using the word savour, so you can savour your experiences that you're going through uh, rather than rushing through it to get to the next thing. Actually, the slow pace that is um, that you need right now, that you want right now, that you're desperate for in many ways. If you create just moments of that during the day, uh, rather than it thinking, oh, I've got to be there for hours or days or whatever. Moments are really, really good. Lots and lots of gorgeous, savouring moments add up to one amazing life story. I wish you well. So next person is Mererid, Mererid W. Okay, so Mererid, I'll just have a link in. Okay, Mererid. Um, Go to your sound bowls and use them daily for you. No one else, nothing else, just for you. There's a, uh, there's a slight disharmony in the tummy area, which always talks to me of, of like losing one's power uh, or reorganizing one's power. It feels like a reorganizing rather than losing. It feels like a feels like things are uh, flowing, they're coming and going. That's it, like an ocean. There's an ebb and flow in your life at the moment. And um, it feels like um, you're feeling this in your, physically in the stomach area. And that's all about our joy and it's all about our power. So it feels as if um, the natural flow that wants to reach you at the moment is like the ocean. So if you just remember the ocean and the ebb and flow and go with that. So, so when you're finding uh, the world is resisting you or you're resisting the world, then see if you can actually, you know, go on a boat in your mind's eye or, you know, go do some of that diving with the dolphins or whatever it needs to be where you're with the ocean. So the ocean can carry you out, you know, to see that starlit night or it can bring you back to shore and all you have to do is float. Your job is to just enjoy it and float at the top with your playful dive here and there. So um, the organisation that you need is is um, is elusive. It's elusive at the moment. So we can't grasp it the same. So um, it's really ebb and flow, ebb and flow, ebb and flow. You, you're shouting at me with this one, which means that it's exceptionally important and it needs prioritising um, to just bring the ebb and flow into each thought, each moment, each decision you make during each day. So ebb and flow is very much needed um, for your whole world at the moment, Mererid. Okay, hang on a minute. Something else underneath that. Let's see what that is. So we have a reminder here, 
we have a reminder here of about the light beings that are around every single human on this planet. Um, so uh, your son is seeing a lot of the light beings around. So if you find him staring off into space sometimes, you can ask, which light being are you? And then I want you to go to your stomach area to see what the response is and the heart and your breathing. It's like, um, it's like your body will start to resonate at that pitch and then your body will start to react at that. So you'll be able to learn who's around you that your son happens to be seeing. This isn't around him. He's got his own gang. This is around you that he's seeing. So you might start noticing that. If so, do that simple practice and let me know how you go. <laughs> this is so interesting. Okay, so what else? Okay, so you've got some alchemy coming your way soon, Mererid. Um, Christine G, you've got some. Tavinia, Ellie, there's a few of you out there, so maybe if you remember this as a group, there's some alchemy going on. So some alchemy is trying to get to you. So alchemy is uh, where we, we have various ingredients and we mix it together and we produce an outcome of some sort or another. So um, what it means tonight for us on this particular gathering is uh, there are opportunities on their way, but there are all sorts of uh, um, like different ingredients to make a cake. Yeah. So this alchemy is about all the different ingredients are trying to find you at the moment. So be open and aware and, um, and and just have a look and keep open about these different types of opportunities that are finding their way to you. And remember the ones that you might have said no to and um, just have a look at all of them. Have a look at them, even if you think they're too big or too small or don't smell right. <laughs> what your ingredients in your cake is so 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 gather them all anyway and then um it's almost like having that store cupboard so that as you decide which particular vibration of a role in life you wish to invest your energy into you've then got a whole load a whole sort of larder full if you like of different ingredients so that you can pick and choose and mix and match as and when it feels right to do so. Okay, sweetheart, that's amazing. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, Christine G, you're coming straight in there saying, yeah, what if you haven't got, what if you can't get the ingredients? <laughs> Such a practical woman on that face then you write them down and we use it on an energetic level so you write them down on a piece of paper hopefully everybody's got paper and a pen or pencil write them down on that and then put your glass of water on it that will infuse the energy and sift the water during the day whether that's that's a type of homeopathic resonance um type of medication but it also goes for things like love it can go for things like clarity it can go for things like patience all of those things you can write on a piece of paper. Isn't it? Lots and lots of them. You can do a whole essay and then put your glass of water on there. It will infuse with that energy. Just look up Emoto's research. It will infuse with that energy. Then as you drink it, then your body becomes that vibration. Because we're made up mostly of 70% of our water. It's going to work. Try it. Let me know what you think. There's a big comments field right at the bottom when you scroll down. And I'd love to hear some of your, your responses to what we're doing. <laughs> what fun. Okay. So that's Marera. So um, next is Jill. Jill S. S the star. Okay, Jill. This one's for you.
So your higher self wants you to remember that you're here for a higher calling and all the other crap is just dross. Okay, so this is a real straight talking um, language, forgive me, and the messenger coming from your higher self. It's saying prioritize, um, sorry if I'm shouting here, prioritize yourself, prioritize your, your, they're using the word worship, your worship to spirit, your focus on you and your spiritual health. That needs to come first above and beyond the call of all of the duties. So this is definitely a time every single morning, several times in the day, definitely just before you go to bed, to wrap yourself in this cloak of angelic love, to call upon the angels, to assist you in keeping clear, keeping self-worth up, keeping respect, self-respect. It reminds me, you know, of um, Gaia's message that we put up on YouTube. January 2020, when she was talking about um, the four filters that we need to put through each and every question, inquiry of ourselves, the world, and every other question that we have. I mean, it's like, it's like you can apply that to today's uh, pandemic and all sorts of things. First of all, she says, number one is clarity. Watch my January videos if you're interested in the full response to this, but it's basically, am I clear on this point? You know, um, am I respecting myself by doing this? Am I applying self-love by doing this? And the fourth one is, is it fit for unity consciousness? So, so uh, Jill, the sort of things that, that uh, your higher self really wants you to attend to is that get clear about your spirit, get clear about your love of spirit, get even a deeper gorgeous yumminess about surrendering into spirit spirit is your medicine it's the best 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 medicine that you can have right now it's like it's like take a spoonful of that and a cup full of that and a bath in that and it's like oh your cares just float away they leave you it's like Really, that's so not important because it raises your vibration by you investing in that and uh, you get fed by it like a million times over. It's an exciting time in your life if you prioritise spirit. Spirit has to come first before all the jobs. They're just not worth it. They're just not important. You find yourself shouting through me now. So Jill, please, 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 you know, do your prayers if that if that's what works for you. Affirmations. Um, use your, your crystals, your bowls, whatever it is that, that makes you feel like you're in tune. Get hold of those angels. Really look at them. Get your love flowing into um, the crystal angels and the angels around your rooms and absorb their loving intent. They are so delighted about this part of your journey. They are really, really, really happy to meet you on that field of spirituality. Just get cracking, get there, do your thing. Use your self-healing, uh, whatever it is that works for you. They await your presence. They adore you. They want you and they welcome you into their circle so enjoy being in their circle darling and remember that's your true self nothing else that's your true self you are spirit first everything else is after that okay Jill. Mm. hannah hannah f yeah hannah Okay, darling, let's see what your higher self wants to say. As I float through a world of possibilities, I will meet you there. So your higher self is saying, as you float through a world of possibilities, it will meet you there. So what that showed me was you walking through a meadow of delight, 
It was a meadow of many different colours of flowers. Um, the sun was, sh was shining. We had a light breeze with us. Mother Nature was really strong. Spring had definitely bust through. And um, you were relaxed. So your higher self is asking you to relax into uh, the, the flow of life to relax into the flow of life. It's like if you meditated on a field of wildflowers um, and you just watched, there was, a, there was a, a light breeze and you just watched the light breeze move the flowers um, in different directions. Uh, it's saying you would be mesmerized by that. You would be, it's beautific. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's sort of, it sort of feeds the creation in you. So if you were to sing a song to a field of flowers, what would that be? What are the flowers actually saying to you that you could then sing to the world? Your higher self says, this is a time of ultimate creativity and by connecting deeply with nature her colors her form her language will reach you you will hear her you can note it down in any form that you like and then as and when share it okay my darling that's what you see and then we have a message for am um, who also happened to ask at the same time, what can I do to keep my physical as strong as my heart to push through these times with as much courage, integrity and creativity as possible? So, I'm going to go for your higher self. Oh, she knows news coming. So, um, I've got... Hi, self first, and then that question. Okay, your answer is, um, I saw a picture of you standing on a high cliff, like a canyon. <laughs> and uh, the wind teasing your hair and it was like you had your arms open and your heart massively open and you were receiving the elements. The elements are particularly important for you right now in balancing all of them. So it's about balancing the air element it's about balancing the fire and the water and the earth within you and in your surroundings. So a little prayer to the four directions and as above, so below. So um, from the Hopi tribe, so the six directions. So uh, that sort of thing or uh, whatever really feels right. But directions and elements are exceptionally important. That's the answer to the question. So if you were to say a prayer and set up a little um what, what what i feel would be absolutely amazing is if you just drew it out on a great big piece of paper and you stood out on it each each uh, day where you could place something in to represent water to represent uh to represent all these different elements place something on that piece of paper or on the on the carpet or whatever it happens to be on your surface that you stand upon and you sit in the middle of it and do some meditation each day and it's as if you are as above, so below, and you've got all the directions of the flow. Go in through the east and then leave it through the east. That's your doorway in and out to that particular medicine wheel type circle. And um, your creativity will be illuminated within the circle. So all you've got to do is set it up sacredly, prayerfully, with all that you are as your light being. You enter it and you sit in it. You can sit in that for as long as you like. You can lie in it, you can fall asleep in it. All of those things are absolutely wonderful, safe and fine to do. You can add things to it. You can change the 
um, items you bring into the circle with you for healing. Um, yeah, medicine wheel healing. Um, you don't need to go looking it all up the same. You don't need to research it. Just do what this is asking you to do. So just place uh, things that represent the elements and walk in through the east, leave through the east. It's like opening the circle, setting it for safety. Uh, only goodness is allowed here. All else fall away. That's a nice one to use. And pop in and just be within that circle and just potentially... What you might want to do, and some of you in the group might love to do this, especially if you're one of those people who've got lots of time on your hands now, is just face each of the elements a day, just one or one a week, and get to know what that element is saying or feeling like, and then change it next time to another one and see what that feels like, so on and so forth. So you enrich your relationship with the elements and the elephant elements elephants and the elements I mean, elephants, and the elements find it much easier then to reach you and give you some messages further on from that um but the physical needs the elements and the best thing to do for that is to sit inside a medicine wheel okay make it really simple it's not some of the traditional medicine wheels it's the one that's been given to you now which is just the four directions and you you are as above so below your ether so you're in the middle. That'll answer your physical question too. Okay. And then we have Tina C. Tina, let's see what your higher self is saying. So Tina, you were made for these times also. You have uh, real eclectic tastes and nature is your friend. So when you're going out and about uh, for your one walk a day at the moment, do continue to take your photographs. There's a lot of nature that wants to jump into your camera <laughs> and show itself like it has done for many years. But particularly right now, there's messages of hope, there's messages of um the higher dimensional uh beings showing themselves in digital form um and they're welcoming your presence out in the nature forms and you know share away and let people make of it what they want but it's your way of actually passing on some of those nature divas which want to work with you at the moment um being indoors a lot and listening to lots of chatter or lots of negativity um, puts your aura in a frantic state so then your adrenals overwork and then you uh you 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 will find it hard to hold on to to one thought for a long time so your clarity of mind starts to shift into a different pattern and um that's why that's happening so if you're out in nature and you're taking photographs and you can really, really, you know, have a bath in nature, as it were, then that's the very best thing you can do to help your mind, your body and your soul right now. Um, you're made for these times. You're made for these times. You're made for these times. That's what your higher self is saying all of the time at the moment. It's like, you know, we need you, your joy your different view of the world so share yourself don't be afraid we love you we need you be you all of you okay something else there tina hang on So one of the things the world loves about you is your awe of what you experience and what you see. It's like, oh, look at that. And wow, really? And it's that intake of breath. So they're saying they, they so the light beings around you are saying they absolutely adore that about you. They love the way you go, oh, really? Oh, it's like 
yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it, it's as if that's infectious. It's as if that, that, that pure joy and, um, and, and learning and willingness, willingness to open yourself up to new opportunities is what the world needs now. And therefore you being you is enough to spread that joy around. A bit like the love virus. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. And my last one for today is Judith E. Judith, this is for, your, for you. So your higher self is saying, it's got quite serious on me there, it said, to the many I am born, to the many I am born, to the many I do serve, to the many I do serve. I am the many. I am the many. Judith, I really need you to write that down, sweetheart, and have a bit of a meditation on it. It's almost like you need to meditate on the first bit and then the second and then the third and then you put it all together and it starts to actually have some fluidity to it and it starts to give you some information now about your next step of your soul purpose. Okay, so some of that soul purpose, the, the things that you've lived, will... Um, will kind of fit within what you've just been given uh but there's like a new chapter there's a massive new chapter coming up that's opening up in your life and um it's it's sort of a bit of a wild card it's something like well i never saw myself doing that or never saw myself you know really into that I might have had an inkling but not really and um so yeah there's new opportunities on the way and they need you to be ready to actually move into that soul purpose. It is part of your soul purpose. So soul purpose is something that we're born to do and that we strive all our life to do. We know when we're doing our soul purpose contract because we're happy. We know when it's our mojo because it's like, whoa, I love doing that. I love doing that. I mean, Judith, you've got a great sense of humor. You make lots of people laugh. So I know part of your so purpose is definitely laughter it's bringer of joy uh for sure um but yeah there's something else there's something else that's coming to you soon so they just want you to meditate on those three things and then put them all together and a picture will start to form about what's needed in your life for you to be happier and have more uh, energy and uh, more love of life. Okay, something else on top of this. <laughs> okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed some of those messages or all of them. Please take some of them for you, even if um, I haven't connected in with you tonight. I will be uh, connecting in and putting another one up tomorrow and the next day and the next day until um i've responded to you all so do have patience and if you've um if we've connected tonight with you uh still keep watching so i feel this is a whole series of yumminess that you guys can actually benefit from so know that you are the change you want to see in this world attend to that each and every day and we grow this love virus and more heaven on earth, whatever the illusion appears to be, the reality within you can now birth. Okay, my loves, lots of love. Do you subscribe, do hit the notification bell so I don't have to keep notifying you that it's your turn. Okay, look forward to your comments. Mwah. Lots of love, bye for now.